there. Okay, let me finish this one, and I've got one more. Although I think the, I don't know, Heidi, if that first one will even show up on our, our page or not, because usually like at the end of our video, it, it will let us publish it or delete it. We did neither one, so I don't know. I don't know where it'll be. So, okay. Well, and the other one, I guess, is pretty appropriate. Um, this one, oh my gosh, when I make this soap, my, my table is a mess. It's a mess. And I, I use eight different colors in this soap. <laughs> and I have so many dirty soapy dishes. Do you guess what it is? So my, my soapy friends will know it is Coastal Sky. I love it. I hope we see a rainbow after all this rain. I think rainbows are beautiful. I know some people use rainbows for different symbols. I like them in the sky. <laughs> And the top of it is this iridescent glitter that will, it will melt when it gets wet, so it's not going to turn you all glittery. And cut the end of it off. And the fragrance that Coastal Sky is, is kind of hard to explain. It's a citrus floral doesn't really make sense and I know it really doesn't give you a description just trust me it smells really good although if there is a fragrance that's called rain that would be perfect right if I could make a bar of soap smell like rain I have to check into that and get this edge off Are we still on? <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, Christina just wrote, how is the virus over there? Mm, they were still making us wear masks. <laughs> I know. I feel like, oh, look, you can see my whole face. If you go out, you don't, you don't see people's whole face. <laughs> okay, here we go. Coastal sky. I think it's so pretty. All the colors of the rainbow. One of my granddaughters asks me all the time, what's my favorite color? And then she'll want to know, what's your second favorite color? And what's your third favorite color? <laughs> I guess I have seven favorite colors. <laughs> and then the, the seven colors and then the white on the top. And actually... My favorite color is iridescent, which is that glitter on top. It's all colors together. I think that's beautiful. The light's making it really dark. I'm trying to get it. We really? can actually see, but. Oh, wow. JR put LED lights in here to give it. Um, there it is. Yeah. Hold it up to the light to make it more bright. And. Uh, the, the reason our rainbow is swirly, if you are a soaper, you know what floral fragrances do to your soap, and you better move fast, or you have soap on a stick. So I can't put them in perfect layers, which actually I think it looks better this way. So I just swirl them. The Dazzle. I can do, what I mean by layers is like this one. A lot of people do their rainbow soap um, just with, you know, just different lines. It won't work with this fragrance. So, 
there's some soaping information that <laughs> probably will never benefit you, but to know why our rainbow is all swirled. Because it's pretty that way. Right? That looks a lot better than just boring lines. There. Boy. Can you hear that? There's a storm coming. It's already here. Oh my goodness. I hope we don't lose electricity. Because if we if we do, you will you will hear JR <laughs> cry about all the meat that's in our freezer. <laughs> Okay, here's the last of it. Last coastal sky. It kind of cuts like butter because it's soft soap. I made this soap yesterday. And um, in order to saponify the oils, in order to take a liquid and turn it into a solid, the little chemical reaction that takes place, and um, I use water to do that with. And now I have to set it in the drying room and get all the water out so you'll have a hard bar of soap. I don't use artificial hardeners, but I use hard oils. Uh, coconut and palm oil are harder, and that will make your bar last about three weeks, maybe longer. Depends on where it is in your shower, I guess. So, or if it's floating in the tub for a while. Okay, I've clean my cutter. And I have more bars to, to make, so I, I don't know, I, if you're just hanging around tomorrow, we might cut some more together. If I get a chance, I'll make a couple more loaves today. Um, we call them loaves. We do them in the uh, five pound batches. There we go. I'll put that in the sink and get the rest of that. And I'll take the cats out real quick. I've had them drying. Have to let them sit for uh, a few hours. But I think this is the cutest cat. That pink kind of shimmers. I don't know if the, the camera's picking it up, but it's kind of a shimmery pink, uh, purple. It's a pretty color. And, okay, girls. Here. Are you packing? I'm making a soap for you tomorrow. I'm going to do some girly camo with some pink guns on the top. We did the, the black guns and that's been a, a real success. <laughs> We're in Texas. Everybody carries guns. Here. And the pink and um, purple and gold ones next. There's my last one. So thanks for hanging out with us in the stormy day. I hope you're somewhere where you can relax and put your feet up and enjoy. And don't forget, at some point before you go to bed tonight, take a shower. Serve yourself happy.